So now we're going to go over ratios and proportions. And let's review uh, something about ratios. The, the ratio is a relation between one quantity and another. So we might express a ratio in the forms of a fraction. So we may say we have uh, four slices of pizza to five kids. Right? We could also represent it as four colon five. Right? And we can also represent that same proportion as four to five. Okay, so it's it's a relative no, number to another number. It's kind of giving you uh, the relationship between the two amounts uh, that were shown here. Now, a proportion is when we have two ratios that are equal to each other. Right? We're trying to set them equal to each other. So, one of the obvious ones here would be say four fifths equals to four fifths. So we have them as a proportion, and we'll show how that works in a second. Uh, another one might be four fifths is equal to eight tenths, and these would be a proportion because the two sides are technically equal to each other. So the question becomes, how do you do this when it's not so obvious? And it's actually very simple. We're going to use something called the cross product. So the cross product, or right, cross product, is where we're basically going to multiply again from that keyword of the product uh, across the top from one side to the bottom of the other side. So to determine whether something is a proportion, we should have an equality between those products. So let's take the example that we had for four. Four fifths, four fifths equals eight over 10. What we're going to do is we're going to do a multiplication across this diagonal and a multiplication across this diagonal. And so four times 10 will give us 40. And eight times five gives us 40 as well. And so that gives us, yes, this is a proportion. Because the two, when we do the cross product, we end up with an equal value as from the top multiplied to the bottom side, and the top of the other side multiplied to the bottom of the other side. So let's take a look at another example. So let's assume that we have one third equals three ninths. So in this case, we're looking to see if this is a proportion we will multiply our 3 times 3, which would be this side, and we can multiply this diagonal as well, 1 times 9, and we can see that both of them are equal to 9. So yes, this is a proportion as well. Now if we're given two other fractions, so say 5 ninths, and they put a comma between them, and we end up with 10 eighteenths, so the comma shouldn't throw us off. What we're going to do is we're just going to rewrite this and say, we're going to set them equal to each other. So we're going to do 5 ninths equals 10 over 18. And we will do our product multiplication here. And we end up with 5 times 18, and that equals 90. And 9 times 10, and that equals 90. So we also end up with a proportion as well. So we'll choose one more, and we'll say we'll use the same 5 ninths, but this time what we'll do is we'll put on this side 1 third. So we'll try that again. We'll do our 5 ninths equals 1 third, and we'll see if our cross product holds. We do our multiplication this way. We end up with 9 times 1, which equals 9. We end up with 5 times 3 from the other diagonal, which equals 15. And the answer is no. This is not a proportion.